right, so I'm going to do this little review on the stove since I've got them all. Give you guys an idea about what's up with these survival stoves. Um, first one you got right here is the uh, HQ issue. Um, you can get it Sportsman's Guide on Amazon. Um, maybe Cabela's might have it too. Um, it's, uh, it's heavier iron. About $120 new. We've been using it. All right. It's got these four little squat legs on it. It ain't rocket science. Um, $120. Bucks. That's what that costs. Cast iron front door. All right. A couple of breathing bits on the front there. One top, one bottom. Nothing on the back. I'll go into the stove in a minute and explain to you. Uh, about the stove. Here's another one. This one we just got. This one's called a winter well. Um, it's an expensive stove. It's on the higher end. 300 and something bucks. Comes with a carry bag. The water tank. Um, you can see the pipe's a little higher than the other guys. It's got a glass door on the front. Um, it's got a fitted door on the front. The lip right here. You can see. There's the inside grill. Got a uh, not grill, but uh, burning grill anyway. All stainless steel. We got an angle here. We got extra, which will go in so we can do hot tenting in our TP tent. Right. That's the stainless steel drying racks, whatnot. It's also got the valve here, butterfly for the forget what you call that thing. Up. Can't remember. Damper. Damper maybe. Um, anyway, that's that. Then you got this one, which probably a lot of you guys are familiar with. That's the, I guess it's a TMS military stove. Pretty much, uh, it's like 60 bucks, I think. There's a light grill in there. Kind of designed very similarly to this one. As far as the inside, the grill and whatnot. And then, uh, that there is a char grill. This is like a 55 gallon drum style we've used it quite a bit here's the uh, burn medium put wood in there or uh, charcoal whatever you want right we had that one for a while okay first off I'll get into it uh, you can get this one here I think they're about a hundred something bucks the charbroil it's like a 55 gallon drum but it's not quite as heavy duty, okay? Now, I'll tell you right now, this one here has been sitting out here for a year, two years. This has been sitting outside for two years. We've used the shit out of it, okay? Commonly, people say that these hinges are not good on the front door. We haven't had a problem with ours, and it closed tight as a drum, okay? That's a $60 stove right there. And these uh, right here, these tubes, they come off, but uh, you can actually fit soup cans inside there, and you can heat soup cans. Certain type canned food, chili or whatnot, you can get them in there. Uh, the Campbell soup fits like a perfect, right? So that's that. There you go. That's the stove. You can see it's rusted. We burned the paint off. We never bothered to repaint it. It's just like it's been sitting two years outdoors, regular use, holding up pretty good. This winter well, we just got today, all right? Haven't used it yet, but just going by what we see, looks like it's got some potential. Then you can see this comes out here. Uh, that little door comes out the top. You can put a pot right on there and cook with it. And then you put the little sucker back in. Not exactly uh, user friendly, but yeah, it works. So, all right. So we haven't used this one. I really can't tell you much about it. It's stainless steel. They don't stainless doesn't rust. Um, I can tell you that the water, this thing fits kind of loosely, right? Um, not that great, okay? I don't like the way that fits. But uh, the water bottle tank, hold on a second. Which is this one that came with the TMS stove. It, it's been used, came undone on the bottom, so now it leaks. It needs to be weld. See that? Weld gave out. So basically, 
kind of a piece of shit. I mean, it shouldn't have done that. But uh, that fits on the same, similar type setup right there. Hot water on tap. Um, couple liters, probably, maybe three. I don't know. But it does fit on the pipe better. And as you can see, the paint came off and stuck on the back there. It's burned on. Maybe you can clean it off. I don't know. I don't know why. I wouldn't worry about it. But yeah, so that one, the bottom split. Not happy about it. You know, um, bullshit to have it come undone like that. Anyway, just from using it. So, don't know what kind of problems going to run in with that water tank. Maybe it'll do the same thing. Maybe it won't. Maybe it's made better. You would hope it's made better because we paid 350 bucks for this fucking thing. Oops, sorry about my language. Been going through the hoops on the stove. This thing here, HQ issue. Heavy iron, right? Seemed like it was real well made. Only problem is, this sucker warps. And... Sure enough, this front door is warped. Maybe you can see how much gap there is there. It's bad. That's closed. Hell of a gap there. The door warped and the side warped. So basically, this sucker warps. For the side right here. This side sucked in right here. All right. Another thing. This pipe is loose. It's a heavy pipe. You know, you think at first when you see it, oh, cool, nice, heavy-duty, strong, thick metal pipe. Problem is, it's top-heavy, and it moves around. Not very stable. Really, I mean, you need to do something about that. For hot tent use, I don't know if I'd trust that going out my stove jack. It's heavy. You'd have to definitely put some kind of frame on it or something to hold it up. It's heavy. And it's warpy. So basically... These valves right here, these breathers, these are rendered useless because the freaking door warped. So I'm not happy about it. 120 bucks, pretty much. I don't know what you could use it for. We, it cooks good. You got a flat surface. You can cook good on it. I got this big 24 cup, 24 cup coffee pot that doesn't do too well on there. I don't know why it doesn't heat up. But we put cans of soup, chili, or frying eggs or something, bacon. You can cook on that surface pretty good. Um, but you can't control how the burn is because of the the warp door. So it's, it's sucking air when you don't want it to. I don't, you know, it's hard to say. I'm not really happy with it. I expected it better from that, okay? This one here, haven't used it yet. But just going on what I've learned from the other stoves, it's pretty cool, you know? Um, the TMS military stove, right? 60 bucks, okay? Water bottle aside, this is probably the best stove considering for the money 60 bucks it's been sitting outdoors for two years still works really good and uh, you know it's got the breather here everything's still working it even has one on the back right there which is pretty bitching right um, it's a little tough right now it's rusted but I can tap it with something but yeah this still works I mean you know is it super high quality not really um, is it really affordable absolutely is the water bottle hokey? Yeah, I'd say it is. But it could be welded. So, all in all, for the bang for the buck, this is probably the best stove. I mean, they've all got a little loose on the pipe here. This one has a pretty solid fitting pipe. I mean, the pipe fits on here. It doesn't move around. This one, 300 and something bucks. Look at that. It moves. It wiggles around. It's not real stable. But it does have these three-piece connectors up there so you can put lines on it or whatever, a frame or a, some kind of poles or whatever. You can support this. When it comes out the side of the tent, it'll be coming out at a 45-degree turn. So those will become extremely relevant to securing, to securing this smokestack. It'll make it stay put. It'll be good. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do about the loose-fitting, oversized water piece. This thing here, as you can see, it's brass. Maybe a little higher quality than that one. It's stainless. Maybe it doesn't make any difference. I don't know. Brass seems good. Water tank seems okay. Um, so we'll see if it holds up. But yeah, it's loose and a little sloppy. And you can see this, see? Now that's rocking back and forth because it's on uneven ground. But the pipe, you know, it's... Uh, I mean, from use, they get a little tighter. They build up some stuff in them, whatever. They they get crusty or gunky or whatever and they start to fit a little tighter they don't move around as much um, the legs on it are fine they're strong legs 
This is 